so welcome back to the channel. I have been uh, tracking some, a few projects and they're kind of outdoor. This one definitely is outdoors. This is our, what we call our cabana and there's a dining area. And this is kind of the, more of the lounging area. I've got my furniture set back, but you'll see it all when we're putting it all back together. I wanted to talk about this wall. This wall we debated on whether going to do like a rock or a brick or some kind of element like that but in the end what we as we have done in the house is we've decided to always reuse recycle the stuff that we have and this was all taken out of the walls and actually that one built in the early 40s so so we took that out of that house and we have hung on to it for probably 10 years because we just knew that it was good wood. We didn't want to get rid of it. And, and in fact, it's quite hard wood at this point, even though it is, um, I believe it's a cedar. We, we put it up here. Now I'm going to, my husband helped put it up, but it's a simple application with nails. And there's like a tongue and a groove that fits and there's a spacer there. And it went up fairly fast. We filled it with a polyfill type of um, and it's like icing a cake, you know, you just, you just um, and I do have some shots of me filling the, the nail holes and any kind of odd scars in the wood. I filled those because I'm actually putting paint. I'm going to paint it. Um, even though it looks interesting when it was just up and um, I don't really want that out here. I want it to match the siding of the house tools that I'll use, of course, the gloves, save the manicure. Um, I have glasses on today. You should, if you don't have glasses, wear proper safety glasses. It's going to be a nice arm workout. I'm going to just stop the, the audio on this and I'm going to continue uh, watching myself struggle with uh, the sanding but this is a belt sander and we're gonna pop off the, the wood try and not wreck the ceiling the ceiling is an, a hardwood floor that we put um, as a ceiling application I also wanted to show you that part of this wall is I, I had this old picture that I got from I don't know I don't know where I got this from but I don't really, I, I dislike it a lot actually. And I thought, well, I'm not gonna just throw it away. I'm going to order a print that I like that kind of is in, in keeping with, you know, a cabana or the swimming pool. I purchased a print and I'm gonna apply it somehow. I'm not even quite sure. Perhaps Mod Podge will come into play. In other, in other aspects around the corner, I'll show you there's a little changing room and then a little storage room that also has ship up that, that will complete with uh, finishing paint. But these are kind of fun. These were from Vistaprint in the in keeping with kind of the pool theme, but also uh, Palm Springs. So, Palm Springs. so let's get started. sanding is done and I do want to reiterate that you know the pain of a project like this is that it's like making a salad the preparation is like 80% of the salad right it's the cutting the cleaning the chopping the, the paintings is probably the most satisfactory portion of the project like this and it takes so long to actually get to the painting but so that took probably oh, an hour and and my husband even got involved with some of the sanding because I must say that big belt sander it's old school so it's quite heavy it was a good workout and I did the little palm sander which this this we got actually I think this is our second one but we did a house in Toronto when we lived in Toronto 
and we used it a ton and we can still use stuff like this a ton. So this is a, a very good investment. If you were gonna do a project this big and needed a belt sander, I think you could rent them like at Home Depot. Home Depot has a whole uh, tool, a bunch of tools and clean steam cleaners and big sanders for floors that you can rent. So uh, if you don't have the tools, you can go and rent them. But anyway, it's supper time, so I'm gonna cut it here and I will start painting tomorrow. I did notice that the change room uh, and the storage room, for some reason, uh, hadn't been filled. I think when I did this, those weren't even done. The wood wasn't done inside of those rooms. So I'll just take you around that way and to show you before filler, what it looked like. So this is the wall on the other side of the cabana. And this is the little changing room with the old historic mirror and medicine cabinet. But so that's what the chiffon looked like just before we put filler in. And although it's kind of cool, I don't know, maybe I should keep it like this, kind of raw wood and have the outsides. Yeah, that might be something. I'll think about that. Let's get started on the uh, cabana artwork piece that I am going to, I wanted to customize. You saw the other two prints that I had just simply bought some frames at HomeSense and, uh, and put them in. And now this piece, I had always wanted to recycle this one. It's a big, it's a big square. I can't remember the, it's a 24 by 24. My print that I had have uh, d won't won't work because it is a portrait, and this is a perfect square. And I thought maybe I could paint the outer part black and maybe cut this print to make it okay on a square. But I just couldn't find a way that I would I would like to put this poster old ad from copper tone which is fun i think it was from the 60s of copper tone girl and the days that we used to promote sun tanning yes that's why all of us that are this my age are now dealing with sun issues on our skin so the first thing i want to do is kind of lay out this print and put this over top of it and find the perfect spot to cut off. And you'll see that I'm not actually gonna cut. I'm going to score it and tear it. So just equal distance from the edges. I guess I'll go through the tools that I have. So I do have my new canvas, that's a black canvas. I have a ruler that I'll use in a two, two different ways. I have a, a little sponge brush. Mod Podge and a pencil. I think that's all I need. And um, you may want to just double check the if it is center. I don't want sharp edges like a cut. I would rather just tear it. So, but I'm going to score it now. I have, of course, I have a beautiful scoring tool. It's a piece of I think it's ivory or fake ivory from Martha Stewart days. Of course, when you want to find something, you can't find it, especially something like that that I use every five years or, or less. So I'm gonna score it, not with the sharp, not with this part, but with this. And, and you can even do this by even folding it. And I might actually fold it as well. Actually, I, I think I'm gonna start by, by folding it. Now the trick is though, I don't want the, the actual pencil. I might have to do an er work an eraser actually. Because I just wouldn't, didn't want the sharp edge. I'd rather have a fluffy edge when I Mod Podge it. Even if it's Mod Podged, I would prefer. Yeah, it's nice because it's almost like a photography type of paper. And don't worry about fingerprints and stuff because I'm going to put Mod Podge right over top of it. So you score, you score the spot that you want. 
the line, you fold it, and you should be able to just rip the paper. Even like this, do it like this. And I might use an eraser if there's any pencil mark. If you feel that it's not ripping. And then what I might do is I might just go around, make sure I get the pencil off, just so that when I Mod Podge it, see it is see-through. Can take that off. Oh, I don't want to take that off. Yeah. So I'll stop it there, and when I get this done, you'll see the end result. So Mod Podge time. This is fun. I haven't done this for years, actually. And this is where I'm going to end part one of this two-part series of the shiplap wall with its custom artwork. On part two, I will complete this artwork and I will paint the wall in the cabana and move back the furniture and you will see the end result in the big reveal. I'll see you soon.